It's a busy shop these days south of Guthrie. Chris Morgan and today his friend Maggie Burtwell are putting together a flag for a World War II veteran named John Pioro, nominated by his grandson to receive Chris's version of the Stars and Stripes as a gift for his service. For Chris, this is flag number 922. It's changed my life. It, it truly has, it's given, like I said, it's given me the sense of purpose and the love. He started three years ago coming off a decade of depression and seizures caused by an accident in the Air Force that left him with permanent disabilities. I did spend about 10 years in major depression. To change direction, he needed direction. Chris found it in making these wooden flags and donating them to worthy fellow veterans. It's given me uh, hope, push, and drive. Now this is when the flag comes to life. Starting off in a Dell City garage, then moving this spring to a bigger place in Guthrie, Chris's mission grew in scale as help came in. The Heart of a Lion Foundation helped him with the move. The new shop is soon to have an AC unit thanks to another donation. And it's people like that that are making this thing happen. Right now I'm, I'm at approximately probably 40 to 45 flags a week. His list of flags to donate free remains more than 100 names long. Sometime later this summer, Chris has something special in mind to give away his 1,000th flag. I got a big thing coming for number 1,000. <laughs> as Independence Day approaches, he thinks as many of us do about our nation's symbol of freedom. But he also thinks about how he achieved his, playing his own version of Stars and Stripes forever. I have many, many years left doing this. I'm going to do this till the day I die. Near Guthrie, Galen Culver, News 4. Is this a great state or what?